welcome back. If y'all didn't see part one, mosey on over there, watch part one. This is part two. Yeah. Love and Marriage Huntsville, the reunion. Part two, let's get it popping. So the cast, the cast is in the back. They've taken a lunch break and they're discussing part one in the back. And of course you got the Holtz over there and they're, it's always going to be team Holt. They're going, they did this and they did that and da, 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 da. Okay, we see all of that. But then Mel constantly reminds everyone and reveals as well of what they have done for the Scots. And mm. come to find out that when Marceau got laid off, fired, lost his job at the movie theater, they only had one car. The Holtz was like, we had several cars. We let them use one of our cars for free because of them having one car and three children. Like I said, constant validation. Mm -hmm. that, Let, we didn't even need to know that. Letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing. No one needed to know that. No. If you were being a friend to them at that time, don't bring don't bring, don't bring up how you helped them in their time of need. And that's one of the reasons that me and Stan uh, no. would sit in this house and split a saltine cracker two ways before we asked anybody to do anything okay, for we'll us. Do that, because we'll people would bring that skit up at now, the craziest of times, our staffers. Now, it is pride. That it is, is pride. pride. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd rather be prideful and die than to have you hold a skit over my head that you did to me did for me. It's yeah. just the way I am. Pray for me if y'all don't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It ain't right when that is, people. That is the... But like I said, it, it used to time it don't come up until when so conflict goes until, wrong. Yeah, yeah, conflict come up. That's when it comes up. So, before I actually looked at this reunion, I saw a tweet from Melody and I try not to see a lot, but because we have a social media presence, I'm always out there looking and, and interacting and making sure that I'm making sure that we stay relevant on these social media streets and whatnot. So I see stuff sometimes and I saw a tweet that she put out there. I don't know if she did it before the reunion or after the reunion, but it said something to the effect of how would you feel if someone that you've only tried to help? And she said something about a cast member, so we knew it was somebody on the cast. Um, trying to make up things, make up things on you and leak your information to vloggers. So immediately we knew that, okay, you're you're talking about oh, Tish. Tish at this point. Mm -hmm. So this is stuff I was talking about. Y'all should have incorporated some of this skit that has been happening on social media. Now this one you probably couldn't have because it just happened. But there's been a lot of talk on social media that did not come up in these reunions, and I wish that it would have. So the way that they did part two was a little easier to stomach because they split off the couples, and yeah. then they were able to talk to them. But this is the one thing I'm going to say before we get into any of this. Did y'all realize that we didn't speak anything about the comeback group? Not a word. We didn't speak anything yeah, about what nothing. you do in your community? Nope. The reason that most of us started watching this show we, the it group. was mom. Mm -hmm. We heard nothing. That was so disappointing to me. Mm -hmm. That at the end of the day, this show has dwindled down to being about black drama. Mm -hmm. Folk with money still out there acting on A. And, which, and I'm sick it, of it. And the thing about it, which is true, is life. It is. But life. sometimes I do get tired of us always being viewed in that light. You know, I always got issues. But y'all thought this was gonna be along. one of those positive shows to be like, yeah. yeah. But a few you know, things mixed yeah, in. Yeah, you know, a little bit of you know here and there. But yeah, it's still just like it's gone. Like what? yeah. So you realize that you have lost your focus when the reunion show didn't even bring up the real reason that but, the show was shot. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna hit on this, but I, I wonder now do do the Scots regret doing the show? I have been hearing that Marceau said that it's pretty much going to be his last season. Yeah, because yeah, I, don't because know. I wonder when they signed up, did they know what they was fully signing up for? You know what I mean? Like the lens was this big, but yeah. the picture is that big. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But we get to see the Holtz and we go down memory lane of the whole cheating thing and how we got here with Mar uh, Martel and Melody. And we're quickly reminded that 
Martel feels justified in being able to cheat on Melody because Melody is not satisfying him. And it has to be in the bedroom because he's saying stuff like when we're there and we're making love and we're doing it. And I'm like, baby, so you're not going to do that. So I'm like, there are things within the bedroom that she is not doing for him. So that makes him feel validated to go out there and get someone else to do it. Now, Melody, let me go ahead and put you up on some kind of marital game. 17 years in, I think I'm quite qualified to say it. Um, you, my dear, going to have to get exciting in the bedroom. And the reason I can tell you that you're not exciting is because we've watched you. We've watched you go to lingerie shops and be like, oh no, I don't, mm -mm, mm -hmm. I don't. And you're a beautiful girl with a beautiful body. Do it. And toys. We've seen them give you toys and, and edible panties and stuff like that. Stuff that's easily cute and exciting. Mm -hmm. Make it off on just the simplest stuff. Yeah. And um, you seem to reject anything remotely exciting like anything that's a little bit more risque you seem to reject that so for that i know that sex is pretty basic but this is my thing and i'm gonna go back to it again even excuse, if she no. yeah it's not an excuse and no. even if she wasn't doing everything what was it for you to go get a whole nother woman and that keep you called her your for, girlfriend for three years though you know, usually if, if I want a piece of cake, I go to the store, get the cake, I eat the cake one day. I'm satisfied to the next time. But you kept going. So it was it was deeper it was than her sense. not doing something in the bedroom. So that's that's why I didn't buy it because nobody gets 100% of I what they want. I didn't buy it, but I heard it. Yeah. And yeah, I know it to be... Now, true. now that could be yeah the difference because everybody don't get in a relationship whether it's a sex, uh, friendship. Nobody ever gets one hundred percent of what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, but you get a voice. What you what you want and it's up to the other person to deliver that to you. But I know being married for seventeen years, the sex part is not gonna let me go and get a whole another woman for three years. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. I'm. I, it's very important. Yeah, that's yeah for three. So that's my thing. Is like, what what was that? Yeah, he was a, and and like we said, he he introduced this girl to the world mm -hmm. as my girlfriend. Yeah, I have never in my life heard a man say that about a side chick. No, nah, that's a sorry. girlfriend. Yeah. I have so never. So that was that, that 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 was my whole thing. So that's no as deeper than the sex. Yeah, yeah, because us, we can hit it and quit it and leave and go and don't call you tomorrow and don't text you. But he but provided you stayed for the here shit. providing and spending money. Yeah, so it was it, it was, was more than sex. Yeah, so I But like I said, Mel could probably have done everything hung from the chandeliers and all of that. He still would have done it, but at the same time, still kind of here. Because at the end of the day, sex should be amazing. Mm -hmm. It should be enjoyable. That's yeah. the time that you connect with them in ways that no one else can. Exactly. Do some stuff that scare you sometimes. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit of role playing. Yeah. yeah. Be a nurse and he be the doctor. Yeah. I mean, God doing to do something. And hey, we did a little role playing this weekend, Shh, Mike. Stop. Oh. Telling them I got no oh, business. Oh, my bad. Um, <laughs> But anywho, uh, Mel has revealed that her and Martel are separated, which means that he just back upstairs again. He's still in the house. Yeah, because we're looking for, um, what you call it, an axe? We were. That she question. didn't ask. Yeah. So I realized that he probably still upstairs. Mm -hmm. He's still in the house. They're separated. You know how it was when she got pregnant. And um, she's put off the she put the divorce on hold until after she has the baby because she wants to have a, a stress-free pregnancy as she possibly can you know what Mel that sounds good it's almost like everything she does though it be sounding real good it be feeling real good mm -hmm. you want to get behind her and be like yes girl mm -hmm. I got Let's you on it. that uh -huh. but you your actions are the total opposite you're on social media beefing all day every day 
I can go on social media right now and I promise you, you probably have posted something that's taken a jab at somebody. Hmm. That ain't stress free to me. Nah. How old is Mel? Um, I don't know. gotta be around, close to around, around that age. I no, know. oh no. You know, she younger than us? Oh, way younger. Hmm. She's probably be in the 30s, uh, I would hope. Because hmm. I'm trying to figure out, like, when do you outgrow that? I don't know. Because I have. But anyhow. So, what else did they do? Uh, Why is she thinking? Uh, yeah. We know a couple. Oh, God. <laughs> that they got a separation. They lived in the same house during the separation. But guess where he moved to? Here we go. He moved to the garage. He set up a whole house mm -hmm. in the garage. And that was many, many years. But um, but 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 here's the catch twenty two. They were still creeping together though. So when she wanted some, he come on in the house, get some, and she get she threw with him, she kick him back outside <laughs> to the garage. Yeah. What is what it is? Oh, they spoke about the peasant comment. One thing I can respect about Martel, if he believes something, he he, he doubled down with it mm -hmm. and he did. He doubled down on the fact that she is a peasant. She knew, the, as Rachel said, she knew the rules when she got into this. She knew that I was married. She knew that I had a wife. She knew that this is basically what it is. So that's peasant-like um, behavior. But she didn't know she was a peasant. Um, and then somebody in the audience was like, hold on, hold on. But that is still a woman. That is still a female. And he was like, and if you allow yourself to be the side chick, then you are a peasant. I have to agree with Martel to a certain extent, but at the same time, I have to leave room for understanding because I understand how this could happen. I understand that a woman could be in such a vulnerable place in her life that she will listen to the lies of such as a person as Martel and get to a point where she gets caught up in some skit that she would have never intended to be caught exactly, up in. Exactly, exactly what I was um, thinking. Yeah. So for you just to be like, she's a peasant, I ain't gonna be that hard on that girl because I don't know what the circumstances <clears throat> were. From what I was understanding was Mel and Martel were kind of in a place where they were almost like split up. This Dude, is what so I've heard. And the same stuff right. that I've heard on the show. That they were at a point where they was basically split. So you don't know what Martel told this chick when mm -hmm. they met. Exactly. And how they formed their relationship and all of that. And then by the time when you get feelings involved, it is so hard to let, pull back from those feelings. Let, let's, 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 just, let's just dissect this. I still this don't in, agree. Let's just dissect this in the real world. If a guy goes out there to get a new girl and if he immediately tells her that he is married. She's running for the hills. Uh -huh. The average chick uh -huh. is running for the... You ain't being that honest on the first few dates. Hmm. Here's how I think the scenario went this year. Uh. Me and my wife are separated. We are not doing good. And I just need a friend. That's the, that's the famous line. And at that point, she don't view you as her man. She, just view you she has a friend that needs to talk. Needs to talk. And so as you get to talking and you know you're intimate. changing and going, it's like you know then it becomes something totally different. And it's and, over your head. You're way over your head. Exactly. So I don't think I don't know. I don't think she got all the facts in the beginning. I don't yeah. think I think her heart was in it too far when she got all the facts. Very well put. Yeah. So here's my thing with Martel. You're mad and calling this lady a peasant. And I don't, I mean, it is what it is. Lady, woman, whatever you call You calling her a peasant because she knew the rules before she got into this. Cool, I'll give you that. But you can't also be mad at someone like Miss Wanda because she got on TV and caught on um, live and called you a hoe. Hmm. Are we doing the same thing here? It's the same. And that's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, you, you thought it was good enough to reach back. Yeah. I mean, you didn't reach up or reach to, on the same level you was at. You the one to reach back. Yeah. So what does that have to say about you? Hmm. So, yeah, I was like, hmm. okay, we they tried to give him time to, to, to come back from that comment. He doubled down on it. Got to respect the fact that you, you stood in your skit. Okay, whatever. So the moms, Martel's mom came out and Mel's mom came out. Now, I love both of their moms. Yeah. I love the fact that 
they can separate the person from the situation. Yeah. They love Mel and Martel together, but they don't like what he's done at all. Mm -hmm. And they have said, I don't trust a man no further than I can throw him because both of them have been cheated on. Mm -hmm. But I like what Mel's mom says. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. But every situation is not like the one that I dealt with. Exactly. So yeah, that was basically good. she's giving him an opportunity to redeem himself. Yeah. And if my daughter decides to go ahead and take him back, I'm cool with that. I am cool with a change Martel being with my daughter Mel. Mm -hmm. And Martel's mom was like, a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and say that she should stay with my son just because it's my son. I love my son. I got my son's back. He a good dude. I said, what is good in your book? But anyway, <laughs> um, he's a good dude. I do think Martel is a good person. Yeah, 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 I do. He just yeah. has character flaws. Yeah, he got um, some issues. Oh, yeah. uh, as we all do. Yeah. And, um. Except for he's public now. Very public. And he can't handle it. That's yeah. one thing I can mm -hmm. see. He, he wasn't ready no. for this I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, I'm not. Yeah. Because I click on I, I, I might. I might be like him on social media chasing folk down. Yeah. What you say, Dad Ninja? I'm like, when you, you you better learn something from Beyonce. She don't answer nothing. She don't even go on social media. Yep. You can't because you got too many people with their own opinions coming on and saying it and you absorbing all that. You can't do it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I like the mama's date. If y'all not together, that's cool. Y'all stay together. together. It's cool. That's cool. You just but gotta be. That's changed. between y'all. That's between y'all. Cause anybody said, got to pay that light yeah, bill with y'all. Exactly. So I'm not putting. I said that. That is rare. That and that is that is so grown. That is grown and rare because most mamas. Oh. And, and them boys. Oh, baby, you can come on back home and live with me. Forget her. Even though you want to mess up, <laughs> look, and you remember that little that girl that you used to date when you were in high school? I seen her at the store not long ago. She mm -hmm. real pretty, mm -hmm. all grown up. The one I wanted you to be with back in high school? Man, she a doctor. Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that's. But how these mamas right here? Yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah. So, uh, Mel, you know, um, Egypt had asked her, you know, do you believe that the relationship with this chick is over? And. She said she's just gonna give it time. Yeah. And I, I and I like that. I agree answer. with the answer. Yeah. Just, just give it some time. It seemed like every time she, she go away, she pop back up. And you popped up pregnant <laughs> this time, so let's not let that be a rewrite in history. Yeah. So let's go to Tisha and Marceau. Miss Wanda joins the stage because really at this point we don't really have too much to deal with Tish and Marceau as a couple. We dealt with that on part one, but we're dealing with <laughs> we're dealing with Mama Wanda. Ooh. And Mama Wanda comes on that stage and Egypt asks her, do she believe there's any truth to the 20, 20 women's? And I like what Mama Wanda said because she's realistic. Yeah. She said, I don't believe that there has been any women in this close proximity of right now, of right yeah, now, right now 10, 10 years. years, none of that. But early on in their marriage, could there have been one woman? That could have been. It could have been possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, very possible. Mm -hmm. But no. And then she said, let me go ahead and put this out here to you like that. She said, you remember that comment that Melody said? That maybe you should roll up on your husband 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> she said, well, he ran, left about the house 2 o'clock in the morning. First of all, where the hell is you rolling out to 2 o'clock in the morning? Mom? Yeah, how are you going? Because <laughs> um, I'm asking the questions that I wanted anybody else to ask. Um... And she said, I rode up on him. And he was exactly where he said he was mm -hmm. going to be. And doing what exactly he said he was going to be doing. I said, but did he see your headlights, though? Because there ain't but so many <laughs> headlights out with you at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's you, another car, the police, or somebody that's following See, you. maybe he went to going to the gym. Because that's, that's, yeah, we have some few cats. They try to use that as an excuse to cheat. And one of them came up with a baby yeah, on his girl, uh -huh. too. Yep. Going to the gym at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh -huh. So where was you going by, so? But and she bought it, though. She, she bought it. She bought it, and she didn't even tell Tish about it. Tish said this was her first time hearing about <laughs> how Mama Wanda was rolling up on yeah. him. Yeah. I was like, that's a real mama for you. I, I like how she did that. Even though Mama Wanda be doing the most with the least. But I like Mama Wanda, yo. I, I like somebody that has their their child's back so hard like that. That's borderline. Ain't no borderline. 
uh, <laughs> inappropriate. She's so inappropriate. She's so in. Yeah, <laughs> she crossed boundaries. I mean, ban I mean, all. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. The moment that you just you you bust you, up you in bust that bedroom, in my bedroom, and then tell me what to do. Bad enough you already in, in my here, house, and I didn't invite you in the bedroom, but then you gonna come in and and. Tell me some stuff that I'm supposed to be doing, what I ain't supposed to be doing. I ain't hurting your daughter and all that stuff. Get out! <laughs> but this is the part that tripped me out. When um, Egypt been asked about, so you think that could be one? She said, look at him. Look how handsome he are. He are. I say, like, what? <laughs> Mama. Mama Wanda. I love you. Ooh. I think Mama Wanda is so pretty. Say how handsome he are. How handsome he are. So then we started to talk about the live video. And this is what I like about Mama Wanda. You mess with me and mine, I'm coming, coming for, for you. your hand. I'm pies. coming. And she immediately, I mean, she didn't wait. Mm -mm. She ain't let it settle. She ain't let this food settle. She ain't let the neck bones, nope. black eyed peas, none of that settle. Immediately, she was on live and she had been, she said she done had her a few beers. She had me a couple cold ones. But she had said on the video she was high. I knew Mama Wanda won't high when she said that because when you high, you calm down. You mellow out. You ain't spazzing out when you don't smoke no weed. Yeah. You just ain't. Well, we know you was you was a little tipsy. So we know you were tipsy. Yeah. So uh yeah, so everybody talking about some mama Wanda was high. No, she lost. She was drunk. Yep. <laughs> she was feeling nice as they would say. Now all the rest of them over there, they might have been high. They, she might have had a contact or two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, weed smokers, they calm. They don't, they first of all, the weed smoker would have been like, you know what? He said that uh, my, my, my son-in-law is cheating. Let me call him on the phone. You know that was wrong, right? Uh-huh. Y'all y'all need to fix this. Y'all been friends for 100 years. Y'all need to fix this. Today. Matter of fact, let me get him on three rate right now. You need me to run <laughs> I mean, that's how we people would do it. So she said immediately after she went ham <laughs> or Martell like that, she said, I felt bad. Uh -huh. And I called him immediately. And I apologize. Mm -hmm. And she I said, was like, wow, you she did that? said he accepted my apology, but Mel didn't. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay. So we see what, who's, who's fueling the anger with this situation, right? Because mm -hmm. Martel was cool with it. And she said, that's, I'm cool with it. I did what I'm supposed to do. I can't make her accept my apology, but I did apologize and whatnot. So uh, later on, let's go ahead and get this part out the way. Later on, we come to learn that the acceptance of the apology was really short-lived because now that the mama said what she said on social media, Melody has doubled down to wanting Tish to have called her yeah. to apologize on behalf of her mom. I was like, what? She's not a kid anymore and her mom is grown. Her mom was the one who did that skit. So Miss Wanda said, I'm a grown A woman. Yeah. My daughter don't need to apologize to you for skit that I do. I've apologized. This has nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. And I agree with what Mama Wanda said, but I do agree kind of with what Mel said. If we are in a very vulnerable place and we are friends and your mama spazzed out on me and my family like that, I would expect you to at least call me at some point and be like, you know my mom be tripping, right? Y'all good? I heard she called you and apologized. You know, try to at least smooth it over a little bit. But that's just kind of how I would have done it. But again, like I said about Mel, Mel is the type that if you don't do things in a way of which she feels you should have done it, then there's a big problem. Mm -hmm. I think it was big that Wanda called and apologized. Because she don't look like she called and apologized to you about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she would just still cut your nick off and know she wrong. Be I mean, like, you just deal with it. And I think the whole thing was blown out of proportion. Was one oh, yeah. wrong? Absolutely. Oh yeah. But for y'all to go as far as to believe that Mama Wanda was gonna roll up on you and yeah, because she was like, she you. was like, she was like, roll. I wasn't fit to come over and do nothing to y'all. I'm just, I just rolling up on you on live and letting you know. Yeah. Like, now, Mama Wanda do look like she carried a 380 in her breasts, in her boobs, in the bra, outside her bra. She do like she got a 380 right there. But she ain't fitting. But she, she ain't been fitting up to shoot them over that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, if some hands get laid on, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the 380 would probably come out. Yeah, so I was like, y'all just going too far with this. 
And then the next thing we know, we have learned that from this situation, there was a police report that was filed. Yeah. Because Marceau said that because of the whole situation, Martel was then starting to text them and ask them for video apologies. And then they started reposting the video days later after Mama Wanda had apologized about it. So yeah. I'm like, I felt, I felt like there was some information missing because to me, we go from apologizing to Martel accepting. Mel didn't accept. Okay, that's cool. Let her have her time to process it. Now you come back asking for video apologies mm -hmm. from Marceau and them. Now that didn't make sense. Yeah, that if you sense. wanted Mama Wanda to do a video apology, I get that. Yeah, yeah because, because she wanted to do the video. Because she did it. Let's 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 undo it the same way you did it. Mm -hmm. I get that. But now we are doing this two days later. Yeah, reposting it. Yeah. Like so, are we now drumming up drama hmm. that we settled in private? Hmm. Because if you wanted me to do that, you could have asked me to do that while you had me on the phone. Or you could have called me back and be like, you know what? I know I accepted that apology, but for the sake of getting everything out in the clear, could you just do a video and tell everybody that we good? That would have settled it too. Yep. But Marceau said that he had to get uh, file a police, police report, report so that he can keep Martel's erratic behavior at Under bay. control, yeah. And I could see what he meant by that. I sure could. Mm -hmm. Almost like that time that I had to go to the police station and file a report <laughs> on that undercover lesbian that was stalking me. <laughs> Promise you, I'm going to tell that story one day. I Lord just, have mercy. It was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Like, I didn't file charges on her, but I filed so that... Any we let them know. We let them know. But they wanted me to get that girl arrested. Yeah, once on the they spot. Saw, once they saw the stuff that this girl uh -huh. was doing and sending me... They said, oh, she's a complete nutcase. Like, she is stalking you. And I was, was like, like, you want us to go pick her up? They said, please like, go nah. to the magistrate's office and, and get her picked up. And I said, like, I don't want nah, this girl picked nah. up. She's just mentally ill. Like, she wasn't like, it wasn't just me she was after. It, she was after a lot of people. Yeah. It was a mental illness. So don't mm -hmm. think that she targeted Lynette and she wanted nah. to eat the cootie cat. It wasn't that. We could have been, but it won't just me. You just wanted to. I was just you one, one of the suspects in the lineup. Yeah, I was in the lineup, <laughs> and the bad thing about it, once I realized who the other lineups were, we laughed and we laughed. So <sighs> it won't just me. Yeah. But I had to file because in case something was to go down, they had prior knowledge of what was going down in the background. So that's basically what it was: was letting you know that if skit go down, this is why. And I got a case number. They give you a case number so that you can tell them case number 5502. Mm -hmm. That's why I shot him. <laughs> so then we realized that Martel said that he also got a police report on yes. Miss Wanda. Say what? I'm like, this is too much, y'all. <laughs> Way too much going on. I'm like, oh, that, yeah. yeah. So, Kimmy, Kaiwa, and Maurice. We're gonna I get no. Know. We're gonna uh. get nowhere with this because I'm gonna say this, and Kyle, she watches the videos because she don't comment it, and she don't came in my DMs before too. You gonna have to let whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. it is, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, and I understood what Kimmy was saying. Kimmy was saying that she feels like she needs an apology. Kimmy, you're going to have to let that go, too. Nah, because this she girl, ain't fitting she apologize. ain't fitting to apologize to you for nothing. Mm -hmm. They have explained to Kaiwa what she has done, what she has said. And Kaiwa doesn't think that Kimberly deserves an apology mm -hmm. because everything that she has said about her, she said it in private. Mm -hmm. As if just because you said it in private means that no one ever hears it. Yeah. It got back to the person that you were talking about and now their feelings are hurt because this person has never done anything to you or yep. said anything bad about you. As a matter of fact, if you really watch the show, you will realize that Kimmy has been in your corner and trying to explain to Maurice how it feels for a mother a to mother. lose yeah. her child uh -huh. to its father after mm -hmm. they've had the child their entire life. Mm -hmm. She's been in your corner explaining this to him because she knows how it feels to be a mother of a son mm -hmm. and she couldn't imagine the father coming and, and taking, taking and away. removing him mm -hmm. from her presence i've never heard her say anything 
And you can't even tell Kimmy that she has did anything. To, she, the only thing that Kyra holds on to is the mention of my name gets a reaction out of you. So if you don't like me, there's no way you can love my son. Kyra, get no, off the board. No, no, no. You are reaching for something to hold on to so that you will be validated in your anger. And it's so misplaced. Yeah. Now, I will say this because Kyra has kept on saying that their relationship was not dissolved before he ended in a re before he began his relationship with Kimmy. Me and one of my girlfriends was talking because she's a stay at home mom, so she has time. I ain't got time. <laughs> but she went digging, and she saw some things that were quite questionable to her as well. And I'm gonna tell you what she saw. They filed for divorce August of 2010. Divorce was finalized February 2011. Kimmy had been posting pictures of Maurice on her Facebook. And they're still there to this day, according to some sources, of Maurice. I think Marceau was in a picture and stuff like that in January of 2011. Hmm. One month before the, the marriage was dissolved. Hmm. Maurice has been adamant that they have only started dating um, September of 2011. Now, from the viewpoint of a woman, it does seem that those dates crossed over just a little bit. Hmm. A little bit. May not have been what you thought it was, but at least we have had, we have the knowledge that they were intertwined some kind of way before your marriage was dissolved. But let me go ahead and say this to you, Kaiwa. Even if it they was, did. You got to still let it go. You got to let that mm -hmm. skit go. Yeah, so that's what, what, eight years later? You have remarried. Mm -hmm. And we can physically see a reaction from you to this situation. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, it's sad, it saddens me. It really does that this woman is so hurt and bitter about it and i don't know if it's like people say i think she still wants maurice i don't even think it is that she wants maurice it's the fact that she believes that kimmy probably messed up her household mm -hmm. or something like that or I, I it's a lot but you gotta you just gotta let that skit go and this is what kimmy says and i and i believe this to be true he allows you to disrespect me mm -hmm. because you hold the trump card that's right you hold the card that's going to make or break him mm -hmm. and that's his son so if he doesn't allow you to talk skit about me to him or do what you want to do or say what you need to say about me then you're going to pull back from allowing his son to be here. Yep. So that's why he does that. That's why he allows you to talk about me mm -hmm. and treat me badly. And I'll allow it because I know how much that his son being here means to him. Mm -hmm. um, this is bad. And then we know it to be true because Egypt asked, are you starting to maybe change your mind about him coming? Yes. Yep. That's she she said. pulls that trump card. Yep. And, and she know they can stab him in the heart. Yeah. yeah. And like Kimmy told her, said, Kyle, you don't want what I've had to deal with when you got sheriffs knocking on your door, serving mm -hmm. you papers so mm -hmm. that you can go back and forth into the court system to get to fight for custody for mm -hmm. your son. Yep. I have talked to him and have tried to make sure that this never happens. But you're twisting that man's arm. Yeah. Now, I agree. It's not going to be easy. But I think it's fair to at least give this situation a shot. Yeah. Because. Yeah, you know how we are stick I don't believe in using kids. As your bait and as leverage. As your bait to get your way and to control people. and Because at the end of the day, monster is the one that's going to suffer. That's that's the 100% truth. Yeah. So that's the one you have to look at. It ain't about what Maurice wants. It ain't about what Kyle wants. It's about what Monster needs right now. Yeah. And Monster needs both of his parents, mainly his daddy right now, because he's getting to that age to direct him into manhood. Yeah. So they need to work it out some kind of way. I don't know about the situation with her moving to Huntsville. I don't know if that was true. But 
if that takes it and y'all can make that work, which I don't know if it'll work. Mm. But whatever y'all got to do, I hope y'all find it. And I hope y'all have found it. Yeah. You know, since the recording. Because if that boy see that, it's going to hurt him. Yeah. Seeing y'all, especially if he see that reunion and see y'all in there arguing about him. Yeah. But, and then I've heard people say, well, Monster said he doesn't want to come to um, Huntsville to live. I don't believe that. I believe it's been planted in his head. That too. And then it could be how he feels. But my niece wants to be a unicorn right now. Kids <laughs> don't know what they want. They know what they're comfortable with right now. Mm -hmm. Transition is hard for any kid. I mean, look at military children. It is extremely hard. Um, so I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. But he has his set of friends. He has, you know, he knows his neighborhood. He knows the people that he's going to see day in and day out. This is going to be different for him. So, of course, I would... If he was saying anything other than I'm, I don't want to come, I would kind of be like, really? That's a little too easy. So, you know, I, I, uh, that's why I said give it a shot and see how it goes from there. Yeah, I'll see, um, what, see what happens. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I, I we didn't we didn't get anywhere. We just got yeah. We didn't really get a bunch of questions answered. It was just um, you know, yeah. Tish at the end. She said that she does not like the space that they're in. And her and Mel came to a kumbaya moment where they apologized to each other. I said, how long is this going to last? Five, four, three, two, one, and boom, Twitter hit. From what I have been hearing, and see my girlfriend, she might be in the comments a little later. Uh, she was telling me all this. I ain't seen none of this. So all of this is over. Um, they said that <laughs> <laughs> Mel is on Twitter telling everybody that Marceau cheated with a girl at the movie theater that he got, that he lost his job from, and that's why he lost his job. What? That was that what they told me. She said he had told me that once, but that's new new to me on here. Let me go ahead and run it down to you. Huh? Marceau got a side chick, and the side chick has now been hired to do Tish hair. So whoever is doing Tish hair is also sleeping with Marceau. That's that's that's, that's according what, to Mel. According to Mel, that's what they said. Legend. Um. Hmm. They said that one of the Scott brothers was on live or something like that. And according to, and I don't know if this is the brother or the, one of the Scott brothers used to mess with Mel's mama. Huh? And he said that if Martel breaks out any receipts or am I so cheating on Letitia? Then they gonna show some real damaging videos of, of Mel's mom. Look, <laughs> it's too I'm, much. I'm, and we gonna we didn't say nothing about this because they breathed this over over this. I think it was on on part one <laughs> when Letitia when she was when she was back up against the wall. Yes. And she had nothing else to say. She said, "What about Mel petitioning Mar so for That's sex?" Okay. And they, and they just, and they, went, they just blew over to like, wait, wait, we need to stop right there. And she said, did Martel ask you if Mel asked you for sex? Yeah. And they just like blew over there like that won't, like that wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Let me tell you what else they said. <laughs> they said that, that Kawa was on live and somebody asked her why did she continue to use the Scott last name? And she said, so when that nigga died, I could get his social security. I was like, that's not how it works. Nah. But, um, <laughs> I said, I hope she was joking. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, she got a mom. Oh, yeah, child. That's, that's going to go, that's going to go to Kimmy first. Well, we and, have to, we have to look at the laws in the state. It ain't that freaking easy, but, but some of these laws is bucked up. Yeah. So typically, typically it's supposed to be the spouse and then the spouse in there. The oldest child, then the oldest child in there, the youngest. It's there, something. Trickle, Hold on, because then my it, aunt it trickles down. No, my aunt was married to a dude, and my aunt will never remarry because she says she gets social security from her first husband's. Yeah, cause she was a husband, a wife. Yeah, yeah. But he was married after her. Yeah, she might have some point to that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah. <laughs> Huh. Well, she, yeah, it might, uh, 
But it ain't got nothing to do but with anyway. last name. But anyway. Um, said somebody asked, said Mel was on IG Live, and somebody had asked her if there was any truth to her wanting to sleep with Maso. And she said she liked men with, with nice teeth and um, clean shoes. That's what she said? So she didn't answer the question. Basically, she was taking a dig at, at, at Marceau and talking about his teeth. But I saw y'all's wedding tape. Martel's teeth was bucked up when y'all married. Mm -hmm. So don't do that. Um, they they straight now. But they bucked up when y'all got married. Huh. Straight from VA. The dirty, dirty south. We got nowhere. Two up, two down. Holla. <laughs> <laughs>